I bought this one. 여기서 이런 거를 받으면 여기서 받으면 돼요. Okay, 친구들. So I bought these two foods: the toast. And the chicken. Chicken. It's a chicken with uh, spicy a little bit. Next one, toast. Mm. The egg and cheese and the pickles and ham. Good job. So this was a Hugeso where you can go to the restroom during your driving so much. So Hugeso. And I'll move to another place. So see you there. 여러분, 안녕하세요. 안녕. Hi, I'm your Korean friend Haley and I finally came to the Bopo station. Bopo station and I'm going to tour, have a tour in a Bopo station. So let's go together. Hi, 친구들. Oh, so I came to the accommodations and then I actually booked the Airbnb, not hotel. So I want to show you the Korean Airbnb and let's have a tour. When you walk in this place and then you can see this view and I was quite surprised with this amazing view. This is so beautiful. I'm going to show you. The view of the Mukpo. And then over there, there is the sea. Hi, 친구들. And today I came to the Yonine Super, where you can see the old supermarket in Korea. So old things. Banana key, candies. This one is a sticky one and a chocolate. So I got the tickets here. And this is for the general, the round tickets. And I am going to take this and then come back. And uh, they said it's the longest cable car in Korea, so I'm very excited. So let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I got into the cable car. Wow. Wow. You can see the sea. Wow, in here you can see the whole Mokpo city. <gasps> Very big. Wow, Mokpo is really big. Mokpo is really big. And say hi, annyeong. With bokkeumbap, we're going to put these, the left things, inside. And it becomes yukhe dakji dongbok bibimbap. So let's eat it. Hi, 
친구들. I came to the Namjin Yashinang, which is called Namjin Night Market. And today I have a little challenge. I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend 2만 원, like so $15, 2만 원 for my dinner. So let's see how much 2만 원 food will be. So let's go. Oh, 저희 낙지 하나 주세요. 얼마예요? 네. 안녕하세요. 여기는 뭐예요? 여기는 돈가스요. 돈가스요? 네. So everyone, this is 280,001 $15 dinner. I came to the ocean side in the Mopo. Mopo is an ocean city. And in here, we have an amazing festival, which is like fountain ocean, and then the drones. So I'm really excited because they're going to make a musical with the drones. So let's see together. <laughs> This is bondegi. Bondegi. I think the English word for this is caterpillar. The the steam caterpillar. And I, I just want to ask them, why are you in Mopo? I'm an English teacher. You're an English teacher. I'm also an English teacher. English teacher in Mopo. And then, how's the life in Mopo? Um, it's it's calm compared it's calm. to bigger cities. Uh -huh. It's much calmer. Uh huh. Uh, there's things that happen each weekend, so there's things to see, things uh -huh. to do. We have the famous cable carts. Ah, uh, cable cars. And then, how's the life in Mopo? I moved here recently, but I really like it because I came from a small town in Korea. Yeah. So. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, so now this is bigger for me, even though it's just small. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. So, are you satisfied living in Mopo? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for having an interview and see you in the YouTube video. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, 친구들. Did you enjoy the Mopo show? It was so great. I was so surprised with the Bulgot Festival, uh, the Firework Festival, and uh, as you can see, there were. I've seen many foreigners here. I thought it's only for Korean, but Mopo is becoming an international city. So I was quite surprised. So when you come to Korea, it's a good idea to visit Mopo one day. Thank you for watching my vlog and see you in the next time. Chingodur. If you like this video, please like the like button and subscribe and alarm. See you in the next time. Annyeong!